toning down on the pension for luxuries including ensuring that you keep on tracking your expenses are some of the ways to shake off common errors in managing your finances. So all our businessmen, the majority of them, as it appears like you're beginning to build resilience, then you reward yourself too quickly. It's an African culture. You reward yourself too quickly. The size of the car changes, the size of the home changes, and all the mistakes written in here, a second spouse comes on the way, etc., etc., etc. Architects in financial discipline will also strongly and consistently advise you that pay back your dates as a yardstick for keeping you off business blunders that can cost you financially. And when you lose the job, you start moving from one office to the other. My rent has expired. I need some small money. You start borrowing. Then you finish the borrowing. Nobody lends you afterwards. They talk about you. Then you start asking for money. So that begging culture has increased. But others also caution that reaching out for ideas from role models and experts. Our downtown, Chikubo, Nachibubo, those are the people that run this town. These people have actually mastered the art of managing money. They know, they understand the value of money. They understand the value of starting small. They understand passion. This man will wake up at five o'clock. All the same in the current economic hardships, experienced by individuals and businesses alike, enhanced savings should form part of your deliberate strategy. You know, money today is more valuable than money tomorrow. The same money. The same amount of money. So this means if you get money and you keep it and you're not earning anything from it, it is equivalent to picking money from your pocket and you throw it away. These are among other common errors in managing finances and business blunders that can cost you financially are ably captured in a new set of books authored by Frank Katusimi. I had not gotten a, bit, a little bit more exposed. I gave myself time and promised that at my 50th birthday, I will write and, pre and, and present a book as a gift to readers, especially those who are in that forum.